Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be building a clay mug, items that you'll need, paper towel with tape, slats, clay, ceramic knife, engraving tool, pencil, rolling pin, slurry or slip, aluminum can that is empty, as well as some canvas to put your work on. First step is to lay your piece of clay out, put slats on either side of it, and roll it out using the rolling pin. I would recommend you put the rolling pin in the center and roll out from the top and the bottom. Make sure as you're rolling the rolling pin, you put your hands on the center of the rolling pin, roll front and back, and then flip over your clay tile or your clay piece sideways so it doesn't become too long and skinny. You're gonna need a pop can as a template, but to make sure that you can remove the clay from it, you need to cover it in a paper towel using tape. You wanna make sure that your clay is long enough so you can roll your can along this. It's okay if it's not perfect, just make it sure it's long enough. Once so you've made sure the top and the bottom of the length of the can fits onto your clay slab, cut using a ceramic knife, and then remove the excess pieces. To wrap this along your pop can, go ahead and sit it on here, roll carefully, and stand it up. Use the knife and a fork to score into where the two walls will meet and connect and overlap. And now I'm it's time to use the slurry or the slip and paste it along here. When you're using the slurry, just kind of butter it like you're buttering some bread, except don't eat it, and layer it on both sides where they're going to meet. And then once you've buttered up really good and it's been scored, you're gonna be overlapping and smushing them together carefully and firmly to unite the walls together. I'd recommend that you smush this together using a knife or using your fingers, just pushing it together so that wall becomes not so thick right here where it meets and just kind of try to flatten it out. With your excess clay on your table, you're gonna be tracing out a bottom for your mug. So place it on here, use your pencil or a knife to trace, and then cut through the clay using that as a template. Once you have your circle cut out, make sure you score the inside of your base and the inside of your mug, and then you're gonna be adding slurry to this just like you did before. You can do it on both sides or just do it on the one side spreading it out evenly, put pressure on here like such, and then you're going to kind of sculpt the ridges in. You can use your finger to pull those up, or you can use your ceramic knife to do the same thing. But you wanna pull that clay up into the walls of your mug. Once you have the general shape of your mug completed, you're gonna very carefully Pull out the can. You can remove the paper as well. And then you're left with your clay vessel. It's still gonna be soft, it's still gonna be rough, but again, be careful with it. You have a pretty good start for a base here. You're be taking your scrap clay, what's left over, and start to kind of wad it up into kind of a hot dog shape or a coil. Once you have it kind of in a general shape of a hot dog, sometimes I go like this and kind of tap it down on the table, on my canvas, kind of work on making it symmetrical, and then you just start rolling it out. To roll it out, I would recommend that you use your whole hand. Notice how I'm going left to right all the way. I'm trying to make this symmetrical and consistent. All right, so this coil is looking pretty good. I'm getting ready to kind of figure out how I'm gonna attach this onto my mug. Now, if you bend this coil too much, it's gonna start to crack and break in here. So what you need to do is make sure you add water. So I dip my fingers in this water a little bit and I've kind of softened up this so it's a little bit, have a little bit of moisture to it. So when I bend it slowly, it doesn't crack on me. So once you get your handle where you need it to be, you can start to score and slip it. I've scored the top and the bottom of my mug and I've scored my handle and I'm gonna be slurring this, adding slip to it like normal, putting it on here 
and putting pressure on here. As you're putting pressure on here, put gentle pressure from the outside and support it on the inside. Same thing with here. Your next you step is cutting up and taking the pieces of your paper prototype, placing them on your mug, and then using that as a template to trace on here. I would recommend you use a pencil to trace along here to engrave those different areas. Once you're done engraving or tracing your shape onto your clay, you can do a couple different things with it. You can engrave. A grave is when you carve into something and you remove the clay, but you don't go all the way through. So there's an example of engraving. Another example is pierce through. You can pierce through using your knife or your engraving tool. I recommend you use your knife. And that goes all the way through. Or you can applique where you add pieces onto there. And if you add pieces, you want to score and slip on the piece of clay, small piece and the big piece, add slurry, and then put gentle pressure on there. So as you're working, engrave, pierce through, applique. Once you've filled this entire mug, all 360 degrees with surface decorations, which include applique, pierce through, and engrave, then you're going to go through and massage and smooth out all the different blemishes, flaws, and imperfections of your mug. To do that, I would just take your thumb and kind of massage one area for about 15 to 20 seconds, then move on to the next area. Once your mug is completely done, make sure that you have checked with me, you put your name on it, and then let it dry on the cart.